Brahms for mystical mysticism, a riddle. The manuscripts of the fifth were burned. It ends just by slamming the door in E minor. This Bachian homage in the last movement. And the first movement is full of mystery, just these thirds. This whole thing of falling, Rilke poem, everything in the end must fall. Just everything about sighing and phrasing. And then something in the second movement that's stentorian, more proud, this bar. Call to attention, a signal that gives way to pilgrims. Just this steady, steady tread of pizzicato and clarinet and bassoon. The third movement, a wild scherzo. There are moments it also kind of sounds a bit supersonic, all these incredible spaced chords. Against the sort of beer keller. That's sort of joy, but dangerous joy frenzied joy and the last one that I said you shouldn't really want to clap at the end of that piece <laughs> Mozart Piano 466 D minor and that just grabs me. it's so powerful this it's cliche to say it's this is tragedy but there you feel something so dark in this piece and in the middle you have this idyll of a uh, second movement that just somehow sings and laments in, in Mozart's simplicity it's beauty and sadness all at the same time. different type of rage, but a rage that gives way to triumph and joy and light and a feeling of hope. That's a great journey to go on. I mean, from the murky waters at the beginning to blazing trumpets and timps um, in a full D major, that's incredible. <laughs> 